it's Pastor Bim TV again and I want you to know today that you can be different. You can be different. Uh, you've been different in your school and it looks like people are mocking you. You've been different in your office and people are beginning to tease you. You've been different in your workplace and people are beginning to feel that, you know, you don't know what you're doing or people begin to bully you. Wait on the Lord. The difference will be clear. It's just a matter of time. Hold on to Jesus, the one who has refined you and made you his perfect handiwork. The Bible says, let your light so shine before men that they will glorify your Father who is in heaven. You see, someone admires you, but because they can't cope, they can't handle it, they can't be like you. They just want to laugh it off and think that, oh, you are just taking things too far. Yeah, continue to shine. Continue to shine. There is someone watching you. You have a secret admirer. They just wonder why you are so different, why you are so uniquely unique. It's because of the nature of God in you. Uh, keep holding on to Jesus. Keep waiting on him because in a matter of time, you will hear those who have been jesting tell you that we would like to know the God you serve. We would like to know what is so different about you. You see, the, the song goes, those who wait upon the Lord, he renews their strength. The mount on wings as he go. They shall walk and not be weary. They shall run and not faint. Teach me, Lord. Teach me, Lord, to wait. Just wait. Be yourself. Don't be like somebody else. Be yourself. Sometimes you deprive yourself of certain comfort just to ensure that you are in that perfect image of God. It will pay off at the end of the day. It will pay off. You see, the Bible says that we are children of God and wherever we go, our light must be on top. It must not be hidden. He said we cannot light a candle and put it under a bushel. It must shine. And you are that candle of God. You are the light of God. Whatever you have proposed in your heart to do in his nature, just keep doing it. Your time of fasting is not in vain. Your time of studying is not in vain. Your time of putting efforts in spiritual activities, they are never in vain. It will pay off at the end of the day. Just keep your light shining. The Bible says to us in Isaiah 60 that darkness covers the earth, but we are the light. The world needs light. We don't want the world in darkness and that is why we have been put in different places where we operate in our school, in our offices, in our workplaces so that the light can shine. The light of God. We are ambassadors for Christ. We are in his image and some people might not have opened their Bible but you are the Bible they are reading. You are the one that they, is giving them an idea of who Jesus is so you can't afford to misrepresent him. They actually mocked and laughed at Jesus, but he knew his mission. What is your own mission? It's to shine, shine like Jesus. Hallelujah. We sing this on shine, Jesus, shine, fill this earth, you know, with, with the light. And we are the one he has put to shine. We are the one to shine. When we sing this on shine, Jesus, shine, we are the one to shine. He has placed us here to shine. So he wants to shine through us. Yes, if you are asking him to shine his light, he wants to do it through us. Because we are the light of the world, the Bible says, the salt of the heart. He shone when he was here. And everywhere he went to, people you know, was, were trailing him. It's time for us to shine. It's time for us to make an impact by the lives we are touching, by the things we are doing. You can't afford to be intimidated. The Bible has enjoined us to so shine before men that they will see our good works. That is how to showcase yourself. If there is any way to show off, is to show off the glory of God by the things that you do in his name. He says that they may glorify your father who is in heaven. Is someone thanking God for you? Is someone grateful to God for you? Is someone thanking God for the day you were born? Is someone thanking you because you are in that uh, thanking God because you are in that office? Is someone even thanking God? Because you were born. That's your parents. Because you are shining as light. Uncompromising child of God. So keep standing out. Continue to be different. Continue to be uncompromising. Do not be discouraged. Continue to touch lives. Let God be praised because of you.
and above all, serve God as a good ambassador without relenting. Hallelujah. Unrelenting and not giving up. Serve the master. You are doing well. Be encouraged today. I'm here to tell you that it's the best thing you ever did for yourself. Because on that day, you will hear, well done, my good representative, my good ambassador. Some would say, my good servant. As some would also say, keep keeping on. You're on the right course. Be encouraged. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Bye.